Hey all, welcome to Parker's Reefs. Two days ago I dropped a video testing a Senai Reef, or at least a Felix branded Senai Reef, against two Apogee meters and found a huge discrepancy. Now that video generated quite a few comments, quite a few questions, and people saying that I needed to test it against another Senai, so uh, here we have an official Senai branded Senai Reef. Let's test it out. All right, so yeah, if you saw that video the other day where I tested the uh, latest and greatest Apogee against an old discontinued model Apogee against a Felix Smart branded Senai Reef, we saw some discrepancies. My uh, Senai Reef was reading about 190% higher on the par levels than the two Apogees, which were within probably about 2% of each other, maybe 2 to 5% of each other, which is where I'd expect them to be. It generated a few comments, a few people uh, not happy with uh, the lack of scientific um, testing, which um, in full disclosure, it was absolutely not a scientific test. Um, I don't know what the actual par level is. There was no calibrated standard. So there was every chance that the Senai was correct and the two Apogees were both miles off. But I'm gonna take the, uh, uh, I don't know if I wanna say the common sense, but the, uh, the, the viewpoint that the two more expensive dedicated light meters that are both testing within each other may be a more accurate result than the, de the cheaper device which tests all sorts of things um, and also does light meter uh, par readings is producing. Now, I'll let you make up your own mind there and I can also say that from those comments, I had a lot of people saying that theirs was spot on when they've hired an Apogee meter. I did have quite a few people tell me that they've got one that they feel is reading high and I even had a person message me that, um, that said that they feel theirs is reading low. So when I got the opportunity to uh, add another Another par meter to the mix um, and a huge shout out to John and Jeremy Sim who uh, were very generous to give me not only their brand new Senai Reef but also their login details which uh, is required to make these things work once they're registered to an account. So thank you guys. I went to work on uh, booting up a uh, virtual machine on my little uh, uh, little NUC computer because I've only got one Windows 10 PC in this house and um, you need a whole separate PC to run another Senai Reef at the same time. So I set up a virtual machine on that computer so I could have two instances of Windows running, got the uh, new Senai plugged in and uh, let's check out the results. All right, here is the rig again. I've mounted the uh, original Felix Smart meter down the bottom. The, uh, the new Senai Reef one up the top, and you can see the similarities between the two there. One's literally a black casing with the word Felix on it, and then the two Apogees in the middle. I've put them on this bit of acrylic to keep them all perfectly level, and as best as I can get the sensors in a straight line. It allows me to get them down into the tank for a comparison's sake. And then when we have a look up into the tank, this is where I've managed to get the uh, sensor to sit comfortably on its own, about a foot down. Uh, you can see where uh, relatively straight there and uh, all sensors are directly under a Philips Coral Care which is up at its highest level in the uh, canopy. Now uh, I'm going to jump onto the uh, Philips Coral Care uh, app on my Mac and I'm going to change some of the light spectrum so we're going to have a look and you can see the uh, two Apogee sensors and the two uh, Senai reef meters here and I must admit early there's a little bit of discrepancy but uh, let's get into the official testing and check it out. So um, We've got uh, the lights here at a uh, relatively low setting on uh, blues only, and you can see the uh, two Apogees are hovering around uh, the same mark. It must be just raising the par a little bit now. They're around the same mark. The uh, Felix Smart Senai on the right is keeping that um, about 190%, not quite double, and the uh, new Senai is a little bit over double. So uh, that's confirming that it is reading high as well, which is um, slightly concerning. We'll just change the lights a bit further again. We're gonna get a bit more spectrum in there, a bit more brightness. You see the two Apogees hovering around the same mark, although the uh, new Apogee has a handy uh, timeout feature. <laughs> just turn that one back on. Both sort of flicking around, and in full disclosure, I do have the flow on here, so you will see a little bit of bouncing around, but uh, you can see the two uh, Senais much, much higher in their reading. Then the two Apogees, I'm going to switch down to the blues. I think we're at full, full strength on the full blues here. You see uh, the two uh, Apogees hovering around the same mark. The two Senai is a bit under double and a bit over double. Uh, one's running about 360, one's running about 390, 400. And then uh, we'll drop the strength down a little bit so you can see uh, the two Apogees hovering around that uh, 90, 95 mark. And uh, the Felix is around 120. 
the uh, center light's around 170. Um, now we'll raise the uh, lights back up again, get a bit more par into there. See the two apogees hovering around the 200, 210 mark. Felix is 400, 410, and uh, the Senai is 434, 40. So I hate to say it, but uh, at least for these two Senai reef units that I've uh, tried, it appears that very high near double, whether it be just under double or just over double, uh, pattern has continued. It's not to say that it does for every single Senai out there, but at least for the two I've tried, it seems like they are measuring much, much higher than the two Apogees. All right, guys, there you have it. That's my findings from two Senais, one being a Felix Smart unit, one being a latest brand new four week old Senai Reef, the uh, discontinued Apogee, the QMS WSS, and the latest and greatest Apogee, the uh, I think it's the MQ510 from memory. Again, my results were fairly similar. The two apogees very, very similar to each other, regardless of the uh, the strength or the spectrum of the light. Um, and the two is both reading um, up around 200% the value. My Felix Smart branded unit reads around about 190%, and it seems uh, my friend John's uh, Senai Reef reads about 210, 220% of what the apogees read. Now, again, this is not a scientific test. I don't know what the true par is. There's a chance that uh, the, the Senai's are correct, the apogees are wrong there's a chance that none of them are right that it's absolutely completely somewhere else or way above that figure in the middle who knows I just wanted to share my experiences that I've had with uh, getting my hands on all of these apogee meters and the Senai reefs so please don't flame me I'm just sharing my experience and I'm not saying by any stretch of the imagination that the Senai reef is not a good tool it has some fantastic features and for the money I think it's a really really great investment however if you are gonna rely on just that for your par readings, maybe take it with a grain of salt because um, I've tested two units now and seen some, some differing results. So please just keep that in mind. And once again, please hold back on the flames, guys. I'm just sharing my experience. If you wanna hate, hate, go for it, that's fine. Um, I'm gonna keep creating, you keep hating. We'll call it a day, but um, that's all I'll say, guys. If you've got your Senai Reef, check them out. Try and get a loan of an Apogee or something else, even just another Senai Reef to cross compare against. Make sure yours is reading somewhere in the ballpark. Um, and that's it. All right, guys, that's all for today's episode. Just a quick follow up on uh, that par meter uh, video from two days ago. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you have any more comments, questions, feedbacks, Anything else you think I can do to further dive deeper into this uh, par meter par off, pop it in the comments section down below. And as always, if you're yet to subscribe, please consider doing so down in that corner there. Cost you no money, take two seconds of your time, and I'd greatly appreciate it. Anyway, guys, till next time, stay safe, keep reefing.